litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. We gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the secret mysteries. All together we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator of all things, you laid down for the human race the law of work. Graciously grant that by the example of Saint Joseph and under his patronage, we be complete the works you set us to do and attain the rewards you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the midst of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and the cattle, and over all the wild animals, and all the creatures that crawl on the ground. God created man in his image. In the divine image, he created him. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying, Be fertile and multiply. Fill the earth and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that move on the earth. God also said, See, I give you every seed-bearing plant all over the earth, and every tree that has seed-bearing fruit on it to be your food. And all the animals of the land, all the birds of the air, and all the living creatures that crawl on the ground, I give all the green plants for food. And so it happened. God looked at everything he had made, and he found it very good. Evening came, and morning followed the sixth day. Thus, the heavens and the earth and all their array were completed. Since on the seventh day, God was finished with the work he had been doing, God rested on the seventh day from all the work he had undertaken. So God, blessed on the seventh day, made it holy, because on it, he rested from all the work he had done in creation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Before the mountains were begotten, and the earth and the world were brought forth from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight, as are yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. Lord, Give success to the work of our hands. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. Lord, give success to the work of our hands. 
Please all stand. Blessed be the Lord day by day, God, our salvation, who bears our burdens. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to his native place and taught the people in the synagogue. They were astonished and said, Where did this man get such wisdom and mighty deeds? Is he not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother named Mary? He and his brothers, James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas, are not his sisters all with us? Where did his man get all these? And they took offense at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place, and in his own house, and he did not work any mighty deeds there because of the lack of faith. My dear brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We come today to honor St. Joseph, the worker. As we start another month, today is May 1, and civil celebration, today is Labor Day. And this day, my dear brothers and sisters, we give value the gift of work, our efforts, our strengths, and for being steward of God's creation. Saint Joseph is our exemplar servant as he received embrace and value of what God entrusted to him to fulfill his duty as legal and foster father of our Lord. An example of a true image for being obedient and responsible in raising the Holy Family. Saint Joseph, mother, brothers, and sisters, in today's celebration, he shows to us the dignity, the rights, the significance of our work. Part of our daily lives Respectively, or relatively, mother, brothers, and sisters, it is our celebration to give honor to our respective contribution and expressing our efforts, talents, and passion toward in the common good. In our first reading of today, reminds us that we are all image and likeness of God. We have everything entrusted to us by God. And by this, my dear brothers and sisters, we have an obligation and responsibility to take care of all of this. It is our work, it is our task to preserve all of this 
because as we heard in our gospel today, or the preceding of today, God looked at everything he had, and he found it very good. Our generous God, mother, brothers, and sisters, wants us to share in his creation by means of fostering the growth by our labor. It is to understand now and to appreciate our work in the image of St. Joseph. St. Joseph, mother, brothers, and sisters, is very instrumental to us and reminds us about God's plan for all of us in our work every day. In our work, mother, brothers, and sisters, we identify ourselves. In our work, we identify our vocation. Meaning, mother, brothers, and sisters, identifying our work in our vocation, we embrace with whole heart, with joy, with completeness. Sa paggawa po araw-araw, nag-isinasagawa natin, ito po ay isang pagtugon sa panawagan ng Diyos na ibinibigay ang kanyang sarili, ang kanyang damdamin at kanyang isipan upang matamuang kasiyahan para magkaroon ng kahulugan ang ating buhay araw-araw. Sa paggawa, dito nagbibigay ang Diyos ng kahulugan kung ano ang ginagampanan natin sa mundong ibabaw na ito. Each one of us, my dear brothers and sisters, mayroon po tayong gampanin na ibinibigay ang Diyos. Ano man ito, ito ang nagbibigay sa atin ng ating pagkakilanlan sa mata ng ating Panginoon. Dahil sa ating paggawa, dito nagbubunga ang hinihingi sa atin ng Diyos na kabanalan. Mother, brothers and sisters, every word, hope, I hope and pray that we gain holiness. Sa paggawa, mayroon sanang kabanalan na ibinibigay at ipinapakita natin sa buhay natin. And we realize, my dear brothers and sisters, that we are not just work for nothing, but we give a response to God's invitation and making the whole world in order. Kaya po tayo gumagalaw, kaya po tayo nagtatrabaho, kaya po tayo gumagawa para bigyan ng kaayusan ang ating ginagalawan na biyaya ng Diyos para sa atin. Hindi para sirain, hindi para pabayaan, bagkos ito ay pangalagaan. My dear brothers and sisters, this is our action of being steward in God's creation. Lahat tayo ay tagapangalaga sa pag-aalaga nandoon ang paggawa. Sa paggawa nandoon ipinapakita ang kabutihan na kaloob ng Diyos nagbubunga ng kabanalan. Mother, brothers and sisters, through our work, we value and we accept our accountability. And this is very important to us because for being accountable, we uphold our dignity. The dignity of our action, that is our work. And our work that we have is our daily expression of our vocation. Mother, brothers and sisters, sa paggawa na ibinibigay natin, sa pagtatrabaho natin, ipinapakita natin na tayo ay nagmamalasakit at tayo ay may pananagutan dahil ito ang ating dangal. Sa paggawa, doon din nakikilala ang ating dangal. The dignity that God given for all of us through our efforts. Kaya nga po kung tayo nagtatrabaho, inaayos natin. Kasi po kung ito'y kasiraan lamang, ang dangal ng tao ay nawawala. And this is a good reminder for all of us, mother, brothers, and sisters. And I repeat, 
in our work, we have our daily expression of our vocation. Because in our vocation, we are called to respond in God's invitation to produce a holy life through our efforts, our action, our work. Mother, brothers, and sisters, by expressing our work through our vocation, enfold to us with heart. Enfold to us our joy. And enfold to us completeness. Kaya nga po sinasabi ko kanina, pag tayo ay gumagawa na nasa puso na binibigay natin lahat, mayroong kagalakan, mayroong kabuhan, at mayroong kabanalan. Mother, brothers, and sisters, St. Joseph is our example to affirm to us the very action, the work we have entails our dignity. That God's presence, all of us, whatever it is, it is God's work in His creation. Don't underestimate the work of others. We have the same dignity. We have the same fruits of holiness. Saint Joseph, as we celebrate today, our very good example to express and to show to us that we are all the same because of all of this, we gain dignity and holiness. Saint Joseph the worker, pray for us. Please all stand. My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray to Saint Joseph the worker as we pray for all our needs. And every petition we say, multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. That the Church may continue to proclaim the values of justice as the source of our peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. That government leaders and economists may work for the equitable distribution of riches and promote human dignity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. That businessmen may place their economic interest at the service of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply, Multiply the, the fruits, fruits of our works, Lord. That the poor and unemployed may find decent means of livelihood. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply, Multiply the, the fruits, fruits of our works, Lord. That the faithful departed who toiled in this earthly life may have their recompense in the next life. Let us pray to the Lord. Multiply the fruits of our works, Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us now pray for our personal intentions. Father, our Redeemer, as we unite our prayers with the intercession of St. Joseph the Worker, help us to see dignity of work in our actions. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings which you bring before your majesty and commemoration of Saint Joseph and mercifully grant that that the gifts we offer may become the means of protection for those who call upon you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty eternal God, and on the commemoration of Saint Joseph, you give your fitting praise to glorify you and bless you. For this just man has given by you a spouse to the Virgin Mother of God, and has set as a wise and a faithful servant in charge of your household, to watch like a father over your only begotten son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through Him, the angels praise Your majesty. Dominions are adored and powers tremble before You. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with the exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which you afford out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that it is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking up the body and blood of Christ, may be God and to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints you have pleased throughout the ages, 
we merit to be coerced to eternal life and your praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the midst of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, bread, and forgive, forgive us our, our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please all kneel. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus, the very source of our life. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but only, but only say, the, say word, the word, and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for eternal life. Amen. Thank you. 
Please all stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask ye, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the signs of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruits of perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, refine the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you.